what is astonishing the whole world at the moment is a decision made by Japan. The Japanese government has announced that it will start releasing huge amounts of radioactive water from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the Pacific Ocean. So, where does the polluted water come from? A nine-magnitude earthquake struck the coastal area of northeastern Japan on March 11, 2011. The ensuring tsunami caused the Fukushima nuclear accident. To cool the nuclear reactor core, Tokyo Electric Power Company injected a large amount of water into the reactor. In addition to the original coolant in the reactor and the groundwater and rainwater infiltrating the reactor, a large amount of radioactive polluted water is produced. After 10 years, the polluted water stored in tanks of the Fukushima nuclear power plant has reached 1.25 million tons. With an increase of 140 tons every day, it is estimated that it will reach the upper limit of 1.37 million tons of storage by September 2022. <laughs> Experts say although the polluted water will be treated before discharge, it still contains radionuclides such as tritium, strontium, cesium, and iodine. Japanese netizen criticized Taro Aso by saying, If you think it's okay, you drink it first. What's the impact of dumping polluting water into the sea? The waters of the Pacific coast of Japan will be first affected. According to a German Marine Scientific Research Institute, with the world's strongest currents along the coast of Fukushima, radioactive materials could spread to most of the Pacific Ocean within 57 days from the date of discharge and reach all oceans of the globe in a decade. Therefore, the discharge of nuclear polluted water into the ocean will affect various aspects including global fish migration, pelagic fisheries, human health, and ecological security. Japan's environment minister Yoshaki Halada has said that the only option will be to drain it into the sea and dilute the contaminated water. Is it true that there is no other option? Since 2013, the Japanese government has evaluated five options for disposal of the nuclear polluted water. Geosphere injection, discharge into the sea, vapor release, hydrogen release, and underground barrier. The discharge into the sea is more convenient than other options in terms of cost, tactical feasibility, and duration. Some analysts say that the Japanese government's decision of discharging nuclear polluted water into the ocean is not because of insufficient space, but because it is unwilling to bear maintenance costs of storage facilities. In fact, there are a large number of uninhabitable areas around the Fukushima nuclear power plant due to excessive radiation levels, which can be used to boot new storage facilities. How did the world react? The decision of the Japanese government aroused a strong opposition from its own people and people in its neighboring countries, including China, South Korea, and Russia. However, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken took to Twitter to thank Japan for his decision. Well, the United States says one thing and does another. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration issued import alert on April 3rd to detain products from Japan due to radioactive contamination. Many netizens replied to Blinken's post by calling it double standard. Japan, with a character of not bothering others, seems to be causing a big trouble to the planet. The ocean is the common property of mankind. It's still two years before the Fukushima polluted water is dumped into the sea. Think twice before you take action, Japan.